Police are down to evacuating their last few homes here in the West Bank settlement of Ofra, and you can he see here behind me what they'll have to deal with. Protesters not only surrounding the homes, but also dozens of young protesters have gotten onto the roof of that final house as a way of resisting police, many more inside. We've heard them singing and chanting both religious and Zionist songs as a way of protesting and urging police not to carry out their evacuation orders. But police have done just that throughout the day, moving steadily, slowly from one house to the other as they evacuate these homes that the high court ruled was built on private Palestinian land. The religious settlers here tried to file one last petition with the high court, urging them not to tear down the homes, but only to seal them. That was rejected, and these homes, after they are evacuated, will be torn down. It has been fairly peaceful and calm as police have moved from one house to the other, many of these protesters leaving fairly quietly. However, police have had to pull some out by force, holding them by their arms and their legs. Police have said two protesters were arrested for attacking police. Again, now police down to their final few homes here. This is a very different story from the evacuation of Amona, the illegal outpost, which is actually only one hilltop away from us. That was very tense, and police were resisted forcefully at every step with thousands of protesters against hundreds of police. This has gone much more smoothly, much more quietly. There have been moments of, of tension, moments of difficulty, but the evacuation of these nine homes in Ofra has pressed forward. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Ofra in the West Bank.